Okay, in this getting started video, we will go over process variables. And so, just to get started, specific gravity is equal to density of object divided by the density of the reference object, which is typically water. And so water, the density is one gram per centimeter cubed, which is equivalent to 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed, which is equivalent to 62.43 pound mass uh, divided by feet cubed and there's even other things you can convert this to like for example one meter cubed is a thousand liters and so next we want to go over an example problem so we, if we have gold which the density is 19,300 kilograms per meter cubed and we know the specific gravity of water is 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed if we divide the two, we would get 19.3. Specific gravity always does not have any units because the units would cancel. So it's gonna be dimensionless. Uh, next, a few important formulas that we will use in the next couple of videos. Uh, density is something that's really important. So density is equal to mass divided by volume. Hydrostatic pressure is something that we will typically see. It's gonna be pressure is equal to pressure not plus rho times g times h. Likewise, absolute pressure is this, and the differential monometer equation would be this. In the next couple of videos, we will solve actual problems, so it might be a good idea to just write down these equations. And here is the uh, formulas for temperature. So if we wanna solve for Kelvin, and we're given Celsius, it's gonna be our Celsius plus this constant right here. If we want to solve for Rankine and we have Fahrenheit, we do Fahrenheit plus this constant. Likewise, if we have Celsius and we want to convert to Fahrenheit, we take Celsius times nine over five plus 32. And lastly, if we have Fahrenheit and we want to convert to Celsius, we do the temperature minus 32 parentheses times five over nine. And so in the next couple of videos, we will solve problems.